127, guess who's back in the charge of the tech? No. The tech, dude. No. Yes. I fucking love podcasting, dude. Uh, We're the fucking best podcasters. I hate it. Why do you hate it? You know why. Because she's you know, got a hangover. Because I am hungover. Hangover as part fuck. three, dude. Sh- starring, <laughs> or no, it's part four. Starring Shane Gillis. And Chris O'Connor. And Chris O'Connor. The who boy. And the Beezer. Be Where's the beast? And at? fucking Danny Jackson. The dogs, dude. Dude, I'm gonna do hangover part four and just have like someone just like laying in bed throwing up all day. I mean that's it. Just shitting the- just oh! laying in bed and being like I've every mistake I've ever made it's waking up is at- just flying through my mind right now. Yeah. Just- Instead of like a, a crazy romp, just have some guy wake up, his girlfriend broke up with him, he just like shit his pants and he's like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> then he just goes to work for eight hours and suffers. Oh my god, thank you. I mean, this is hard. Doing a fucking podcast is hard. Yeah, man. Going to work hungover when is... When you have the hangovers? The, when you have the hangovers real bad, <laughs> going to work, there's nothing worse. There's almost oh, nothing God, worse. God, dude. Those fucking lights, like oh, office lighting oh. while you're hungover. I've been in an office oh. once hungover, and it was fuck, It was too much for TV, dude. I had to get out of there. Yeah, I'll quit. It was brutal. I'll fucking quit. Yeah. I'll yeah, just man. leave. I'm a yeah. big... I'm a big... I like to sneak out of a job. Yeah, I'll just leave. And wait till they call and be like, oh, yeah, no, I left. Yeah. I'm not coming back. <laughs> Sorry, I should have told you that. <sighs> what? What? Yeah, dude, fuck that. I love... I actually am a big fan of quitting. Quitting job, shits. Quitting a job is just like... I might go get a couple of jobs like this summer and just quit them. I mean, quitting is like... It's pretty fun. People shit on quitting. Quitting's not, awesome. Quitting takes takes balls to quit jobs, dude. dude. It took. That's what I was saying. Somebody was talking to me about West Point, and I was like, and, you know, in hindsight though, like I was like eighteen. Mm-hmm. It was pretty. It took some balls to be like, like to have everyone in your life be like, don't do it. Yeah, and I was just like, nah, this sucks. Yeah, <laughs> like, take some, take some gumption. Some, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of pussy going on. Sure, that was ninety percent of it, but there was still, you know, just a chunk of like. For well, sure. fuck everyone. Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> like, no, fuck everyone. Be able to look fuck at the drill this. sergeants, but no, for real, I'm, I'm done playing. Uh, I'm done playing. I, yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. They were like, what are, you, "What are you doing outside of your fucking room? Like, you shouldn't be." I was like, "I'm going to take a shower." They're like, you should be in bed. Lights out. And I was like, "No, I'm quitting." And like, oh man, don't do that. <laughs> like right away, they're like, "Oh, dude, it's not that bad." Dude, I uh, I got a ride home from a troop from school the other day. Dude, I fucking I love the troops. Troops dude. are the shit. I love the troops. Love I took, a good I took troop. a. Uh, yeah, I took a lift. My fucking my car. I was still having car issues. My fucking crossing myself right now, crossing my fingers. My babes yeah. out driving my car. I duct tape. I duct tape the bumper it. on. She's like, I'm like, I know. I drove it all last night, dude. Damn, no Bay fucking problems. Bay is problems. driving it. She's pushing the whip She's right now. Pushing the whip right now, dude. So like, I went out. I put some. So I put some gorilla tape on there for. Her, but yeah. the strong. I bought her the only the finest duct tape, dude. I went to the hardware store. I was like six, nine. I'll get that stuff for twelve bucks. But duct tape the bumper. Ain't up. nothing to a fucking baller. No, like that's me, nothing. Dude. I'll get some. Yeah, I got gorilla. I'm like showing that off. Like, damn, is that Gorilla Tape on that dude's bumper? That shit's expensive. Oh, That's the nicest duct tape they have. Bro. Dude, so she's out driving. I drove it last night on 95. It was my, my bumper fell off. I pulled it off at school. I was like, fuck, and then got and just threw it into my car. It was funny because I had to, like, bend the bumper to get my door to shut. I came out that night, opened my door, and the bumper just sprang out and hit me in the nuts. And I was like, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> so I took it to an auto body shop, and I'm like, dude, there's one right next to my house. I'm like, yeah. bro, can you just, I'll give someone some money, just like put this fucking thing on. They're like, oh, you're like, they're like, well, I got to see the bumper. I was like, no problem. Went down my basement, carried it to the, the place. I'm like, here's the bumper. Here's my car. Put this fucking thing on. They're yeah. like, oh, no, we can't see like these tabs here, this thing's, uh, da, da. and I'm like, dude. I'm pretty sure you can put this thing on. Like, I, and they're like, "Well, yeah. I can't get." I'm like, "I don't need it guaranteed, dude. Just fucking put this thing on. I'll worry about it. if it falls off. That's on me." Oh, they're they're basically saying like they, it was impossible. I'm like, "All right, dude." So yeah, I man. fucking left. Went to my boy Finel, dude. He in the dark looked at it with his shine of cell phone on it, just lined it up and just kicked it on. And I was like, "These mother, they're fucking idiots." He the, the guy just wanted me to like spend a thousand dollars on a new bumper and paint yeah. and shit. I'm like. Nah, dude. I yeah. knew there was a way. I've been on the other side of that. Oh, you've been where the... like the mechanics like tell him to do this. Oh yeah, and I was for like, sure. well, can you do it? And he's like, yeah, but make him fucking buy it. And I'm like, no, dude, fucking do it. My thing was then I would... fight the mechanic. I would have given this guy anyone there like fifty bucks to come out of work, pop it on, and I would have left. Yeah, you made fifty bucks straight to your fucking pocket, dude. Yeah, that was unbelievable. 
So then I'm driving last night, and there's still this plastic undercarriage part that, like, connects under the bumper. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's just there's some plastic shit on my car yeah. now that has nowhere to go. So I was driving, and it was like if I hit 45, it goes, ooh, and it starts <laughs> flapping real hard. <laughs> You're going to so take then, off. You're going to fly. Well, dude, what happened was, this is literally because I had just flown that day. Oh. So I sped up, and I was trying to get, dude, if, if so at 40, 35, 45, 50, it's flapping real hard. Once I hit 65 miles an hour, that piece of plastic, lit, whatever it has to do with physics, it, it gets lift, and it suctions up to the top of the car. So oh, I had nice. to go like 65, 70, and it didn't flap. But I kept going back and forth between the speed so much, like that it bent down into the form of a plow. <laughs> so by the time I got to my friend's house last night, he has a stone driveway. I pulled up and there's like four houses along that stone yeah. driveway, dude. It was just like, <laughs> I was so fucking mad. I, I must oh, it's so embarrassing. I probably too. woke everybody it's up. Embarrassing. Oh, it sucks. When your car's making a noise and you come to like a stop sign. Yeah, this you was see like people look at you. It's like, yeah, I'm poor. Yeah, this fucking this. Yeah, sucked. my life sucks. This was funny too because I was like I was definitely accumulating rocks because it was like scraping these rocks. I'm like plowing these fuck. It was I was so fucking mad, but your boy got some zip ties, dude. I mean, that's one thing. I'm a good mechanic. In terms, if there's no rules, I'm a good mechanic. Like if it's like you know, now I'm not gonna fuck with a piston, but you give me a couple pieces of plastic to hold together between <laughs> zip ties and duct tape, dude. You're good I can, at taping stuff. I can fix it, dude. You should see the way I taped it though, dude. It's just like right on the seat. It's perfect. Hell yeah. It's so fun. I'm about to get some blue markers, dude, and color that in. It's That's look, nice. My car's going to look fucking fresh this summer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Your car is awesome. I was doing a lot of two miles an hour so everyone can see you for a while because I couldn't, the plastic would flap. Yeah. But turns out I got just got to go light my, speed, gain lift. I never gave a, like my car, like I got hit, the fucking side mirror got knocked off. Like dude. I never gave a fuck and then I'd park in front of my parents' house and my dad would be like, what uh? What's going on? What's this? <laughs> I was telling. I was like, Don't you have to use it? You have a little. Uh... I was just telling Brittany, dude. I was like, what are you embarrassed? Yeah, dude. It's Don't like, be gay. I literally treat my I treat my car like a machine. I recognize it's a machine and I treat it like one. I don't like. I don't give a fuck if it's scratched or dented. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I hit something. Yeah. And it still drives. Isn't that fucking sick? Yeah. I don't need to like. Now I don't have to spend money on it. This is perfect. Impress the neighbors with my clean 03 Corolla. I know, dude. He's like, why don't you take it to the uh, car wash? I'm like, well, why? Yeah, why? It's worth two grand. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's embarrassing. That's like 11% of it, or it's like 1% yeah. of the it's value. Like I'd rather it be dirty. That's what I was telling the guy. I'm like, I don't think you understand, dude. I was like, I just want this for one more year. And I was like, I'll fully be. I'm like, if I have to become a lift slave, I'll become a lift slave. I'm not going to become fucking... a slave. Lift, lift will buy you. Yeah. If you, they'll give you a car They'll if you pledge you a, them yeah. 20 rides a week. So I was, yes. that's what I was telling Britt. I'm like, dude, I'll become a Lyft slave before I buy a car. I'll just drive, I'll wake up in the morning, do five <laughs> rides, start my day, be like, thank you, Lyft. And then go about my business and drive my car. So yeah, it's, it's, your boy might become a Lyft slave, which would be kind of tight. I'm looking forward to it. Waking up at five mm. o'clock and just taxi driver and out, just fucking, yeah, you know. that's nice, man. Yeah, man. I'm jealous. I'm a sun worshiper, dude. I, I, so that'll give me... I need to be in the dark today. Really? Oh, oh. you have the hangovers, dude. I had the worst, one of the worst hangovers I've had in a long time. Jesus, man. Yeah, this is brutal. I was, dude. Do you have that, it was like. so dumb. Do you have that, like, real fucking. Does your like head feel like it's like it's, a. It hurts. Like a balloon. Yes. With, like, a bowling ball just fucking. Yeah, it hangovers, doesn't feel my, good. My head's always real fucking light and it hurts. And it, oh, yeah. I fucking. And then my insides feel like I just, like, like hot box meth all night. I just, my. My whole inside just feels everything's bad. Gross, dude. Everything's bad. Yikes. Physically and then mentally, I'm just like, dude, just hit my vape pen. Kill the hangover, no. dude. Kill the hangover. I don't think that's gonna help me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should be high on top. I just of this. vaped, dude. What are Vaping's you gonna do about sick. it? Nothing. Dude. I vaped all weekend in I Chicago. Support you. You were vaping in the shy. I was sneaking in vapes Chirac. all weekend. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I was fucking, uh, dude. I mean, I hopefully I wasn't trying to make a point about my car. I don't know why I started talking about it. I like dude, it. I like it. No, I don't. I don't Your car is the shit. My car is fucking tight. But the, uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, I was in Chicago all weekend. I was a minority all weekend. Nice. So weird. Really? So weird, dude. Maybe it gives you a little perspective, Matt. I have so a lot you're not of coming back here, running your mouth. Imagine about all having that. more perspective than me, dude. I do. Imagine me having more perspective. Than <laughs> I, <already laughs> I just got that. <laughs> Imagine me coming home with even more perspective than I already had. It's unreal. Like, I thought I was on the brink. You were on the brink, and now no. it's like I was humbled, dude. All weekend, really. Long. You got perspective. I've I've already had the perspective, but dude, it is like Chicago is fully segregated, hundred percent. Yeah. Like literally, like you, I'm, I'm an, I was in like an oddity, 
And no one's like mean to you at all. They're like, you're like a curiosity. You walk around and people just like, they stop and check you out. And they're like, what the fuck? Mm. It was, dude, it was fucking bizarre. I would, I, I'm not, I'm a fan of being a majority for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking sick, dude. I yeah. like was walking. I went to, cause like back out there too, they have like, there's full black suburbs out there. So you're, it's not like you're just like around here. You're just like, oh, I'm in the hood. There's black people in the hood. It's like you're in a suburb and you're the only white dude. And it's like I was at a Walmart where there wasn't even a white employee at the Walmart. It was wow. Even the people there who like are like, hey, what do you have Verizon? Ev- everybody, they literally to the last to the last person wow. was black. Everybody everywhere. And you're just walking around. Yeah. And you're like, dude, this is so fucking weird. So you were at Black Walmart. Black fully fully black Walmart, dude. Was it nice? It was the same as any Walmart, really. Really? Same exact thing. See, that's the thing. If you run into a black Walmart, like, in Philly... Yeah. It's chaos. I mean, it was... You know? It's like the Wild West. It was the same... It, dude, there's a there's the uh, Walmart near my parents' house. If you go dub T enough, that Walmart falls apart. Yeah. Hard, white trash Walmart, dude, is pure fucking chaos. Yeah. There's a, lot of, there's a lot more fat people, though. With... Pure white trash with Walmart. With the honkies? Yeah, I feel like the honkies fatten up quicker. I mean, trust me, both are on the same road to fattening up. Yeah. There's no shortage of fucking fat black people. <laughs> the, honkies, no <laughs> the honkies fucking fatten up The honkies up quick, are dude. thick out in the country, dude. Yeah, I was watching a lady at breakfast, fuck, like, yesterday, just being like, God damn, dude. It's like, they, oh, she crushing it. Dude, it must be so funny to be from other countries and hear about obesity and just be like, wait, what? What's that look like? <laughs> what do you mean? You wow. it, dude, I was... I was, this lady crossed in front of me, just walking across, Mm -hmm. you know, I was driving, she crossed the street. I literally, it was like, how can she stand? She was that fat. Like her, her, by the time her legs got down to like her feet, it looked like, she looked like she had hooves. Like it was just little points (laughs) because of how fat she was. Like it was one of the fattest people I've ever seen moving. Dude, how? It was crazy. Dude, and I always hear it. People are like, oh, there's like medical things. I'm like, I'm sure there are. But it's like. Are they eating fucking? You're telling you're me that that 600 crushing. pound lady is not fucking needs a size bigger than king size. She's just, I mean, chugging king like size soda. is fun. You hit 600 pounds, king size is fun size. You're like, what are these little things? It's so funny to call it king size. <laughs> you're, like, you're royal, dude. <laughs> you are a leader. <laughs> My thing is like, show me a 600 pound person who's not crushing fucking Milky Ways. It's like, no, I, it's I'm just, eating. I'm just eating fruits and veggies. <laughs> I'm just no. fucking sick. It's like, dude, and when I see that, I have to see that. But then again, dude, it's like, I ate like I was fucking 600 pounds. I ate like a fucking. Yeah. Oh, my God. You get God. plump. What are you eating? Everything, dude. I was fucking. Uh, I was eating fucking pizza, wings. Well, yeah, you were, you were on the on my diet. Yeah, dude. You were dinging out. Yeah, I got fucking made fun of at Black Walmart for not knowing how to make Kool-Aid. I was like, what are you talking about? You just pour it into the water. <laughs> you fucking honky. That's what you think. You got to add sugar. You're a honky. Dude. You got to add, sugar, add sugar to Kool-Aid. You got to add sugar. That's what I said. I'm like, don't <laughs> fucking put. She's like, do you ever make Kool-Aid before? And I'm like, in Black Walmart. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> no. <laughs> I drank it out of the fucking pre-made twist all things in Wawa. Yeah. She's like, you got to add sugar. You fucking never make it. And I'm just sitting there like, all right, all right. Fucking easy. Dude. Yeah. Don't, don't add sugar to Kool-Aid. You have to. Otherwise, it's oh. too tart. Oh, yeah, like it's it, actually part of the directions? It's part of the directions. Oh, to I add thought sugar. they were just tossing sugar on top of that's it. That's what I thought. But yeah. no, that's how you make it. Like, man, the government's giving us diabetes. It's like, well, <laughs> stop adding sugar to your Kool-Aid. Stop being an adult drinking Kool-Aid. <laughs> but yeah, I was fucking drinking Kool-Aid. I was drinking peach crust. You ever have peach soda? No. It's fucking delicious. I was fucking Isn't drinking. Isn't that funny like when you hang out with black people and then you eat and drink like they're, like they have their own shit. Like Pretty totally, much. yeah. That like you see but never would eat or buy, <laughs> yeah, dude, and then they're just sitting there eating it. It's like what? You guys are the ones eating this? Huh? Peach crush, dude. It was and it was in the freezer for a while, so I poured it in. It was nice and fucking. It was like a slushy. I used to yeah. do that with ginger ale and Pepsi. So they, I got my hands on some fucking peach soda. I was eating caramel popcorn all week. I was just eating like a fucking animal all yeah, week. Yeah, man. And I, uh, yeah, dude. I thought I was. I thought it was the butt gods were gonna punish me. Took a nice dump this morning. Nice easy dump. I had, I had hemorrhoid dreams and everything. I I've, thought I was fucked. I've been dumping like a monster today. This is this is crazy. What's going on? What you've been shitting your brains out, bro? I I drank. I day drank yesterday. Yeah, that's what led to this. I, that was like twelve hours of drinking. Did you brunch life or you just day drank? Just fucking day drank. <laughs> you did no fucking no bottomless mimosas. No, just went. Me and O'Connor 
got Chinese yeah. at 1 oh, p.m. Dude, that's a rough Chinese. start, dude. We went Jesus. to Jane G's by Helium. It's like oh, a nice, it's like a exactly nice Chinese. About. It's a nice Chinese. They had a health place. violation. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, they I don't let it phase me. I'm I trying to mean, ignore it. I just again, I just don't really trust the. Uh, I don't really trust the integrity of Chinese food. It's kind of a, the whole oh, thing. Yeah, it's yeah, a rip off. Yeah. yeah, I got noodles. It was yeah. It's like fucking noodles and yeah. questionable meat, and it's like fifty bucks. It's yeah. like mm, I hear you on that. Nice try. Yeah, but it's definitely then a it was like, Chinese food's a sigh up. It was like, do you want to do you want to get a beer? He's like, yeah, we'll have, we'll have one a, or two. Yeah. Fifteen later. How, oh, was it was it nice out yesterday? Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, you guys sitting fucking, outside. Oh man. Happy. Here dude. we are. Now I can't even talk, dude. That sucks. Now I'm dumb. I even fucking hangover. Now I'm dumb and dude. I'm sad and I'm Why? anxious. Why are you? This is a hangover. Really? Yeah, like it's bad anxiety. It's not worth like it. Just an impending. Yeah, of course it's not worth it. You consumed a fucking ton of flammable liquids yesterday. It's, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, dude. My body is like, don't do this anymore. Dude, I had a. Uh, you know, stop. I, had, I was talking to someone who uh, it was actually really funny. They're talking about like doing. They, they're applying this logic to like shooting cocaine. They're like, yeah, man. I don't know. I'm just fucking getting a little too old. <laughs> they, they they had like shot coke and passed out. It was a while ago. They're like, yeah, man. I just, ugh, I can't party like I used to. And it's like, <laughs> dude, you're fucking shooting. Yeah, cocaine, don't, don't dude. do that. Yeah, they're acting like they had like six beers and had a hangover. I'm like, they're like, yeah, I feel like shit the next yeah, day. Yeah, I can't it's believe like, I feel bad. It's like I dude, drank for twenty hours. You shot fucking yeah. street drugs into your body, and you passed out. <laughs> <laughs> then you're like, ah, man, I can't party like I used to. Uh, That's dude. That I was have fucking, to go back I mean, to the gym. Was, yeah, it was a while ago. It was just yeah. fucking funny. Like, yeah, I just. Man, I'm not fucking... Don't have able, it. I used to be able to party. I used to be able to shoot coke all the time. <laughs> I used to party like the goat. In the fucking... Did you ever watch that movie? Earl, Earl Miller movie? No. It's the goat, dude. He jumps up and grabs the fucking... Oh, yeah, the dollar. The backboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he starts shooting coke. And then That's he, like, awesome. Can't grab the nickel off. He's like, man, I can't grab this nickel off the backboard anymore. Can't party like I used to. That's... Dude. I mean, I knew this... I knew this was coming. What? Even before I went to bed last night, I was like, I don't want to go to sleep. You knew you were in store. I was like, I don't want to go to sleep. I stay up. If I feel like I'm going to get a hangover, I stay up yeah, and I drink. Eat, I drink water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, dude, did you... You didn't smoke any weed or anything? No. Wow. A lot of this could have been bypassed, Shane. Just Bud Light. This is pure Jesus, Bud Light. dude. This is copious amounts it's of death Bud Light. Wish. It's crazy. All you have to do to avoid a hangover is eat like a ton of edibles and go to bed. And you wake up and you're fine. Yeah, but then I'm just totally retarded. It, you, I mean, I still perfect. am now. I still am now. Exactly. Like right now, I was trying to postpone this cast because I of can't think. Yeah. That'd be hilarious. And we nothing's just funny. It. We just stopped at 20 minutes. I want to die. <laughs> and on the, yeah, we were talking before. It's like Matt Matt obviously is not hung over right now. No, and dude. Is there a better feeling than just sitting across from God someone? Damn. Like you're well rested. You're ready to go. Mm-hmm. And somebody's hung over and you just get to be like, what'd you do? Yeah, what dude. What are you up to? You show your ass. Well, it's no. Night? It's also horrible to see people who aren't hungover when you're fucking just have a crippling hangover. Yes. And you see someone who's just like I've been. Up, I was up at seven thirty. Let my dogs out. Was running around doing my goddamn thing, dude. Filled out my dream journal this morning, dude. Just there's no stopping me. I've been logging my dreams. I'm I'm ready to see the full picture. <laughs> What's so funny? What's the full picture, you think? I don't know. The whole thing is you got to log for a while. What happens is sometimes you'll start seeing that you're predicting future events. I mean, I'm not there yet. But if you keep a dream journal, you start seeing patterns in all your dreams. You can start being like, okay, this is that, and here's this my th- thing with this. You know, yeah. It's very complex. That's my new religion, very basically. Very complex. Subconscious, subconscious slash sun worship. Oh, smoked a pack of cigarettes. What? Yeah. Yesterday? Yes. Dude. Yes. What the fuck? It was nice out. Your death wish, dude. Yeah, maybe. Why did you smoke a pack? Why don't you just know, start me and smoking O'Connor weed? smoke cigarettes? Ew. When we get drunk, you guys like nineteen fifties fucking prison guards. We <laughs> were sitting out front, dude. There's other drugs, dude. You can do uh, them now. You don't have to have hangovers. <laughs> you guys like smoke cigarettes and drink just nonstop smoking cigarettes. What are you guys greasers? We were greasers, dude. <laughs> I, I had like my feet up on this. Yeah, you guys could have sat in the bar. Ate like a, a couple mushrooms and just had a fucking blast for six hours. Woke up today and just been like, all right. Look, I understand. Why don't you do this? This is what goes on. You have one or two. Sure. No, you're like, I'm not going to be hungover. I'll have one or two beers. And you're like, I feel great. This is fun. And then you start to feel yourself. Yeah. After like two or three beers, you're like, this is great. <laughs> exactly. Nothing matters. This is fun. <laughs> and then you just keep going. Yeah. 
Yeah, then once they start, my threshold's like four drinks, and either yeah. I hit a wall, yeah, and just go, oh, I can't drink anymore, yeah, or like, yeah. I go, this is great, and this then like is... that part of you that thinks of a hangover dissolves totally, and then it's just like keep them coming. I yeah. every time I drink one of these, I feel even better. <laughs> yeah. And next thing you know, it all stops. Next and you're thing you know, there. the birds start chirping and the sun's coming yeah, up and man. you're sitting there. Oh, and then to, to, to sober up and then be like, fuck, I'm going to have a hangover. And then wake up and remember, go, what I, oh, Jesus, I drank like a fucking asshole all day yesterday. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, man. At least it'll pass. <laughs> At least maybe 8 p.m. tonight it'll pass. Yeah. You know, you'll start, that, that, as soon as you start feeling a little better, you're like, oh, sweet. Yeah. So that's the thing with weed. If you eat too much. You kind of have like a mild nervous breakdown, but physically you're fine. And eventually, do you ever have that when the mild nervous breakdown starts to subside? And you're yeah, like, it's great. Oh, thank God. Yeah. The, with the alcohol thing, it's like you don't have any of those mental effects. You're just body, you just completely thwarts your body process. And then like you feel that hangover go away at 8 p.m. And you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, thank fucking God. Yeah. And then there'll be times like where I can't sleep after a hangover. Really? Like I'll be so tired. And then Ooh. as soon as the hangover starts to wear off, I'm like, I start to wake up. Really? Yeah. No, I pass. If I have a hangover, I, I mean, like... as soon as this is done, I'm sleeping. Yeah, I seek shelter, dude, and I just... I'm done. Yeah. Take a hot bath. Hot bath's a nice move, too. Mmm. Take a real hot bath. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there, dude. I might, Sw- yeah. Sweat it out. Usually lay in the shower. That's sit, not bad. Sit in the shower. Face down. Suck the bath water up before the drain does. Put my head down. Punish yourself. Sad. Like, I'm such a fucking piece of shit. That's what I do. Did I tell you how I clean my ass now? No. Dude, it's a fucking reverse bidet. You lay in the bathtub. It's a reverse what? Bidet. You know that thing you like, yeah, sit down? Yeah, I know down. what bidet is. I just yeah, thought so you were saying it wrong. Reverse bidet. So you, bidet. you literally, you lay. You So here's the spout. The microphone's a spout, right? Mm-hmm. Water's coming out. I lay on my back in the bathtub, and I scoot all the way up. Put my feet up above it and then just angle my butthole and the water just runs right down my butthole and it's, it's a bidet. Poor man's bidet, dude. What is it? You lay down? You lay down on your back. And put your ass in the air. You put your asshole in the yeah, air. Yeah, you bridge. Yeah, you bridge. So you fucking you put your feet up on the tile or, you know, yeah. vinyl if you're poor. And you, <laughs> <laughs> you put your feet up and you just kind of squirt, you know, kind of squirm up there and then you just kind of bridge a little bit and get that asshole nice and open and then you just, you know, put the water to your temperature yeah. whatever you like. Go cold if you're a fucking savage. <laughs> Did you go cold bidet? <laughs> no, oh. I can't handle. It. I need mine like the exact temperature of a tongue. And then you just pop it up there and just fucking the water just cleans your ass. The only downside <laughs> that I realized afterwards is you're kind of like laying in your own shit water a little bit there. Then you just get up and take a shower, dude. You're fine. <laughs> So, <laughs> do you ever do you ever start wiping your ass and you're just like as soon as you do it you're like I'm just smearing a ton of like, <laughs> yeah. abort abort and I just run into the bathtub and do my little fucking fr- I take a French bath dude <laughs> that's a, that's what a French bath is dude you just hit the tub and put your feet up on the wall and fucking wash your asshole <laughs> and you just stay on guard for flex of poop like get, get, and push them down the drain. It's actually like a really intense version of Space Invaders, dude. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, shit, get down, get down. <laughs> yeah, you build up your immune system. <laughs> but yeah, dude, that's been my uh, that's been my ass clean regimen lately. Dude, ever since I got that hemorrhoid, I'm like, that's that's like <laughs> that's the singular focus of my life is to not get a hemorrhoid again. That's yeah, all I care about. Yeah, hey, all I care about. Dude, I do. Is this shower that you're using? Like, you're using the shower nozzle or the, the spout? Oh, no, no, spout. Oh, you're going direct, straight bathtub. Direct spout bath, action. Spout yeah, into dude. your butthole. Yes. That's you a my, strong my, current. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my asshole, loud, dude. My asshole's right above the It's like current. a jet engine. <laughs> it's just loud. And it man. hits you. It, like, hits and just pushes everything right. It's perfect. It works so well. It's a bidet. I mean, everyone can have a bidet. So you... Everyone has a bidet. Put your feet... Yeah. You lay on your back in yep. your bathtub. Yep. Scooch. You put your butthole on your. That's crazy. Close to it. I don't put you, my, my not butthole on it. Touch. Not on it. Close. But like yeah, it's close. And I'll oh scoot. My I'll give myself. Dude. So the bathtub's kind of cold. So I'll run some warm water and splash it up. So I have like a nice, like a warmer surface yeah, to lay on. Yeah, you gotta do that. Yeah, you gotta I warm it up. Yeah. And then you lay on it and you just fucking you know you scoot up, <laughs> and then you wash your butt. Then you just, you know, take take care for any, you know, little stragglers that might come wandering up your way. Like, no, 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 no. Push them back down the drain. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a French bath, dude. It's not a French bath. Stop <laughs> trying to call it a French bath. It's, you are a fucking weirdo. 
it's you wiping too early and then putting your asshole against a bathtub. I was, dude, I've been doing it for a oh. month. I can't believe no one thought of this before. Someone had to. Have. Yeah, you and like every kid. Damn. That's like something a little kid would do. I had, dude. I have. You know what? It, you know what it is. I've actually been. Uh, I've been doing a lot of like self hypnosis around my shadow parts. So I've been. I've been accessing. Well, like, well, young... sh- what's a shadow part? <sighs> it's just. It's the. Uh, it's like the subconscious parts of your brain that kind of like guide your behaviors in ways that like you kind of don't understand. Yeah, like, so I when you this. see when you see someone, if you're seeing someone, and like you know, it's not all the time, but if if, if like somebody elicits a very strong negative reaction in you. There's a large chance that that's a part of your shadow archetype that you don't like at all. And when you see that, you like hate it. It's like, you know, there's yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. that just bothers you naturally. Yes. But there's ways certain people act and I'm like, it just fucking, I hate it. Yeah. But you know, if you do, if you do the, uh, I have an audio book. It's a guided meditation. It's a guided hypnosis. It's fucking sick. I, Did it yesterday. I need a fucking handgun. You need a fucking. In my mouth. You need, dude, you Fuck need, your this French be a, bath. I need a gun. You need a French bath and you I, need to do I some. Will, I promise you I'm going to try to do a French bath today. You have to. I'm going to lay in the shower. That's already on the That's already on the docket. Uh, and there's a decent chance I'll get a little curious while I'm in there. <laughs> I would imagine I'm going to be like, you know what? Let's see what this is. Let's see what all the fuss is about. It's probably going to... just got to cross your butthole, dude. Nah, dude. It's no, it's no problem. It's, it's going to be like Mr. Water. Hand. It's just water. Taking that horse, dude. You're laying in there, <laughs> ass up, just like... Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not that bad. You just got to make sure the water's not too hot. You, you don't burn your t- butthole. You if I got a burnt that. butthole burnt on top butthole? of this? I don't think anyone's ever had a burnt butthole. Well, there might be a couple people out there who have burnt buttholes, but... That's ten times worse than a burnt tongue. Burnt butthole? Yeah. Probably. It's tough to explain. Hey, I get you. Yeah. Sit down. You're like, ah, I got to burn. Run into butthole. itchy butthole a lot. Itchy butthole is one of the worst things. One of the worst things you can get. I, Unless, what, I mean, what, until you get to, you know, scratch that itch. I wonder what. Ha- yeah, that's true. I wonder what happened to a. If you like made someone part their butt cheeks, so like the sun just like beamed on their butthole for like. Oh, you want a sun? You want a sun tan your asshole? Like a sunburned butthole. I'm saying. Like, does that sunburn? Definitely. Your asshole. Everything sunburns. Everything sunburns. Yeah. True that. Pretty much. Ooh, imagine that. Imagine a sunburned asshole. Someone forcing your butt, like someone putting you in some sort of uh, what are, what are the, the stocks? And just put your legs in the stocks and put like a maybe gorilla tape. If I could took gorilla tape and <laughs> spread your fucking butt cheeks apart and put them around a cactus, and you're just like, <laughs> why are you around a cactus? Yeah, you're around the fucking desert, dude. This is pure desert torture. Now we're into desert torture. Yeah, you're in the, yeah dude. You put you put the stocks in the fucking sand and then you. Put some gorilla tape or some. They had the T Rex tape. Put some uh, gorilla tape. You love gorilla tape, dude. dude I was so proud. You're so of happy when you got the gorilla tape oh, and, dude, on put, this. I was putting this I was putting, desert put, torture. You're like, I, I mean, or gorilla tape if that's <laughs> something handy like gorilla tape. I uh, yeah, I was like waiting. I was like, it's gonna get hot too, and the sun's gonna bake the gorilla tape onto my car. It's gonna be fucking. It's just gonna vibra- weld. It's gonna be vibranium, dude. Exactly. You're just naturally welding. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be. It's like a mud adobe, dude. Fuck, dude. What? I wish I was doing all this crazy shit. Like what? Washing you're, your you're asshole? out here fucking like washing asshole. You're proud of tape. Sure. Dude, if I had tape in my car right now, I'd be devastated. Why? I love that you're enthusiastic about it. I fucking love it, dude. That would, right now, that would hurt me. Would it really? If you had yes. to tape your bumper Everything on? bad about me is, yes. It would hurt. Anything like that. Dude, my, yes. my literally pulled out of my school parking lot and my bumper just went, <laughs> popped off and I was like, shit. Picked it up, <laughs> popped it on, and drove home 20 miles an hour. My car was like... <laughs> just like, whatever. Just hopped right in the shower. So you'll you'll hit the French nothing, bath. Nothing bothers, dude. Really, nothing bothers me anymore. I mean, that's... There's literally nothing. We couldn't be further opposites right now. <laughs> Everything bothers me. There's literally like... I mean, this we, That that French bath story helped a lot. That's a, I'm telling that you. That made me... I almost cried. Really? There was something in me that made me want to cry. I was so happy when you told me that. Fantastic, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. Just get in there. I just got to stop being so fucking fat and fucking gay all the time. Why? Because I'm going to fucking kill myself, dude. Are oh, you going to kill yourself? I'm a fat idiot, Dude, bitch. that would be so fucking gay if you killed yourself. No, I'm not going to kill myself. But I know, I know you're not. I'm just saying that would be really inconvenient for me. Yeah, that would be inconvenient for a lot of people. Yeah, that would suck. Everyone would just be like, what the fuck? What I'm just that? thinking about how that would affect my own immediate needs. Yeah. Be really fucking annoying. You'd be sad. Yeah. That'd be cool. I'd make you True, sad. I'd get to do a fucking like eulogy episode. I'm like, sorry guys. 
Shane's Cass fucking over. dead. <laughs> Shane's dead. I'll tell gay. you, I'm like, out of respect for his family, I'm not going into too much detail, but here's pretty much how he killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would yeah. start making shit up too. If I do die, like I found his love letters to oh. all of the male comedians. <laughs> oh. He was gay. <laughs> Shane was openly gay and struggled. I would eulogize you and just absolutely slander your legacy. He was <laughs> he was battling pedophilia. <laughs> <laughs> he was a pedophile. And literally, I would tarnish. I would absolutely use the opportunity to tarnish your name so what? hard for eternity. Why are you doing that? Well, if you killed yourself, why? It's a punishment. That's your my punishment. Yeah, for disrupting my fucking Patreon my revenue fucking... stream. I would just, I would just disrupt. I would absolutely. You'd devastate get a good month though. You'd get all of it. Uh, that's true. You'd I get, get a one good month. Good month. I'd send you like some real cheap flowers. Man, you could just have a GoFundMe. Just be like, this is for Shane's funeral, and just keep it. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to send Shane's mom on vacation. Yeah, I'll just like take you to. I'll just feed you to hyenas. That's how you would take dispose you to, of me. Yeah, I'll take you to Africa, <laughs> feed you to hyenas. <laughs> That is how I want to die. I think we need a I plane wanna, ticket. But you want to get fed to wild animals? Dude, that's kind of the way to do it. Fed to wild animals is, I mean, that's the most animal, you know, it's the most natural way to die. Yeah, I mean, it's, Something it solves a eating problem. You alive. Of, yeah, it solves a problem of dead bodies. Like, what the fuck True. to do with them? Give them to the fucking yenas, dude. Get the yenas. They're fucking hungry. <laughs> Apparently, they say yenas don't attack men, but it's like, I don't know. Who told you this? I was reading. Is it the wolf guys? No, no, I was reading. Wolves don't attack men. Apparently, hyenas aren't known to attack men. Good. It's weird. Why? They, yeah. I don't know why they wouldn't, but I, I was reading uh, just reading some young, talking, reading about his travels. No big deal. Yeah. But he was talking about how the yenas were like, they can't, they come up to the, if you leave, like, the guy, like, butchered some meat and forgot to, like, throw it, like, far yeah. away. So the yenas came out and they, like, started shooting. Now they're boys some, with them. Yeah no, yeah, no, no, no. This was this was just like you know some other units that they weren't boys with yet, and they were uh, like the people there were like, yeah, they don't really, they won't fuck with you, and they were basically like, there's like three European dudes like watching these units crowd around them. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking shoot this gun. I don't give a fuck with you guys. Yeah, and they scattered. Hell yeah. But yeah, dude, I would, I would feed you just some units. Some dude got eaten by a fucking jaguar at the South Africa World Cup. What dude was. At, he was with his friends. They got tickets to the World Cup. Yeah. He t- left his room to take a piss outside. Walked Jaguar outside. got him? Fucking a big cat ate him. Fair enough. They like found him in a tree, eaten. What? Yeah. That's a good way to go. I mean, that is a good way Taking to go. Taking a drunk piss, just I don't know. I, used, I feel like they used to astonish me a lot more. It's like hearing people get eaten by animals. I'm like, yeah, that's what they do. Animals eat stuff. Getting eaten by an animal is... Definitely like the worst way to die. You think? It's got to be. I'd be kind of while it was happening. I'd be like, all right, well, it's not while totally, you're happening. I mean, at least fucking, you're like, you know, you're not just like getting hit by a fucking bus and peeled off the street. It's like some animals eat. At least you get some like nature aspect. It's like, all right, well, you know. I I hear what you're trying to say. Yeah. Like there is like a yeah you're part of you know it's yeah, a circle a little, of life. A Lion King action, dude. A couple yenas got a hold of you. What would but, you rather? I mean, would you rather just like fucking die of cancer for like? Three years? Yeah. If you had to pick immediately. Yes. Yeah, you think die of cancer? I will years? die of cancer. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. I would choose that over, like, a fucking bear. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it would be pretty horrific getting eaten by oh, a bear. Oh, it would be the scariest thing. But like, if you, you see fight... that all the time. Like, people that try to commit suicide by, like, going into a zoo enclosure. Yeah. Regret it every so, time. Okay. So, what if they were, like, the doctor was like, all right, you're, you got cancer. You have, like, meh, about a month to live. Or... Here's a bear. You can fight this bear and live. We'll give you the cure. I mean, I guess you'd have to. How big? So, I'm talking to Grizzly? I'm talking to Grizz, yeah. <laughs> no. I'm you you wouldn't fight the bear I'm for the just going to die. Really? Getting mauled by a Grizzly bear? You might you might be able to grin it down like Davy Crockett. All you got to do is grin at a bear, dude. I don't think that. Oh, grin. so you 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 you're not you don't have to beat it. You just have to no, You got to enter the it. arena. Yeah, you got to fucking kill that thing. You got to kill the grizzly bear. Yeah, you kill that with thing. your hands. Yes. I'll take dead. Oh, I'll take a... dead in a month. Really? Yes. You wouldn't fight the grizz? I don't think. I'd fight. I think I'd fight. I mean, I'm not I'm not being I'm not being Someone hard could up. hold a gun to my head and be like, "Get in that fucking zoo enclosure." And I'd be like, "No. You got to kill me." <laughs> That's true. Like, like shoot definitely. Me, shoot me in the fucking head. Yeah. Yeah, I'd fight the grizz. Especially if someone's like, hey, I'm going to kill you in a month or fight that grizzly bear. I'd be like, oh, I'm dying in a month. I'd fight the grizz. I mean, I'd like to say I would. I might, I might pussy out and be There's like, nothing, yeah, I'll, I'll just, if I have a power of positive mentation, I could probably, re- I could probably, I'd probably try to uh, reverse it with Rick Simpson oil, but 
With what? Rick Simpson oil. What's that? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, my favorite oh. thing to do is someone, what's that? You don't know what Rick Simpson was? I hate when Brittany does that to me. You don't know what that is? It's like, I, I just fucking said no. I just said it. But no, it's, um, it's just like, it's like hash oil, but it's like, it's made with, you know, make it with rubbing alcohol or not rubbing alcohol, like uh, grain alcohol. And then you just like strip it all. I, I've made it before here. You oh. strip it all. You, you pour rubbing alcohol in a bunch of shake and you like, you mix it up and then it turns like an amber color. And then you pour that into a rice cooker and you just boil the alcohol off and it leaves you with like a goo. Like it's yeah, it's like eighty percent here. And like you do shit like this a lot, yeah. like where you make shit like that. Yeah, it's tight. I made it out. If this I did that in the last ten years, I'd still be talking about it. Oh really? If I did that one day, make it Rick Simpson all one time, it was crazy. I made something. Yeah, like dude. that's just shit you do all day long, dude. That's what I got to do. It's wild. I can't stop, dude. I made it in this backyard here. Remember, it stunk like. Remember, you came out of the backyard and it stunk like a distillery. Yes. Yeah, dude. That's that ethanol burning yeah, off. But why baby. were you making that thing? Because I wanted it. I heard about it on the internet. And I said, I could probably make this stuff. And I did. And then I put it in coconut oil and I ate it. And I still have it in my thing. It's great. <laughs> Dude, I just stuff fucking... That's been the cause of me a couple times at school fucking seeing halos and shit around. Remember, if I get real stoned and sit in a place like that, I do it anyway if I'm not even that stoned. I'll start seeing like little blobs around people. It's fucking weird. Basically, I'm, I have synesthesia like Kanye. Yeah, definitely. But it's no big deal. You see people's like auras? Yeah. What's mine? Uh, it's too dark in here. I can't see it. Although I do see a little. That's nah, that's just a shadow. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna be an aura liar. You see, there's a shadow behind you. I was gonna say you just have a black aura coming. Behind <laughs> I definitely shadow. do, dude. That's my fucking. I have a no. Dark if I'm soul. telling you, if I if I look enough, I th- I've talked about this before. If I when I was used to go to church, and I would look at the priest. Everything goes black and white, and the priest is just in color. And then it's just like there's like a blob of light around them. If I focus on a single person in a crowd for like a real long time, my vision black goes black and white, and then the one person I'm looking at's in color. No, it's like Schindler's List. Was that what happens? The uh, at one point, what? It's just the, the only color in the movie is this girl, is sh- is this little girl with oh, red really? hair, or with a red jacket. Yeah, is she a Nazi? No, she was a young Jew. Uh... And Schindler saw her and was like, "Damn, that's sad." Oh, Schindler wasn't about. Fucking... Schindler was just up on it with his bitch on his horse. Just taking what was they his were on list? a nice horse ride. What was his list comprised of? Jews. Really? Yeah, he was like, "Here's a list of people I need to work for me." And he would save him. Oh. That was nice of him. Yeah, Schindler was the man. It's nice as Schindler. Yeah. Played by Liam Neeson. Really? Notably large hog, I've heard. Yo, dude, I'm I'm stoked on that. I don't know if we should spill the tea on this, but What? About fucking Liam, Liam Neeson? Neeson? Or you want to talk Tenises? <laughs> I can't do Tenis it. Tenis Alba, dude. I can't, I can't do it to him. Yeah, dude. true. I can't fuck it. I can't. We can't talk tenis. We can't talk You never tenuses, talk another man's tenis. True. You never Although, bring plus, up a, I'd, I'd have to see it for myself. It doesn't hold. It doesn't that's seem something, to make that's sense. Something, that's something women will do sometimes. They want to start a penis so rumor. They get mad. And they're like, "Me as a penis." Oh man, there's Don't nothing worse than your fucking your bay calling you a penis, mm. calling out your penis, being like, "Look at that little penis." Or you break up, starts a little penis rumor about you, and you're then like, there's a penis rumor flying. Yeah, dude. And you got to shut that down. You got to be like, listen. Yeah. I don't. I don't have a fucking penis. I don't have a penis. It's fucking average. <laughs> it's not a penis. Yeah, dude. I I've seen I've seen it's girls, not a penis. I've saw girls, I've seen girls pull that move. Really? Break up like little dick. It's like, yeah, it's always like you oh, just okay. dated him for six months. Like yeah. now you now you're complaining about his dick. It's like he doesn't like you. It's like I even if a girl is like he little dick, like you. I'd be like your personality sucks. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, I got a penis. Yeah. You're dumb. Yeah, I literally <laughs> can't stand being around you. I'll take my I'll take my penis? average size penis. <laughs> <laughs> also, it depends on the country you live in. True. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I saw the condom charts. I One saw, man's I tenis is another man's donger. Exactly, <laughs> dude. One nation's tenis. <laughs> if you got tenis in Congo, why yeah, don't you head move. over here? Just move. Come here. Move to Nebraska. Oh, my God. Break out that Congolese tenis. Woo. Yeah, exactly. Break out that Congolese six and a half. <laughs> People are like, oh, nice. Nice dick. Dude. Oh, dude. So you're talking about killing yourself. Yeah. And uh, it actually double reminded me because I was thinking about this earlier. When I, I took the ride from a troop, right? Oh, you're talking troop suicides? No, no. no. <laughs> Is that what this. reminded you? <laughs> no, no. So I take a ride from this troop. Well, sort of. Troops will fucking check out, dude. Yo, this Troops dude, are not afraid to just he picks like, me up right. from my He picks me up from school, right? Yeah. Picks me up and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm like, thanks, dude. I was like, I, I got to get the fuck out of there. 
And I was like, I was like, dude, I don't, like that. He goes, oh, I, he goes, I know all about what that place is. And I'm like, damn, you know my school? He's like, I know what the fuck they're about. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, you should have put him onto the cast. Bro. I know, dude. I was damn. telling, I told him I'd do a podcast. Troops like, love sick. the cast. I told him he was because the cast loves troops. Exactly, dude. This, this is a, for the troops. This dude, I mean, it kind of blew my fucking mind. So he, he picks me up, and you know, we're instantly I'm like, he he's was, Ubering, huh? Is he left? Uber? He was Uber. He was Uber. Damn, Uber troop. Yeah, Uber. Ga- yeah, he's an Uber troop. Uber gave me like some money off. Uber. Nah, Uber's thirsty, dude. Uber's really? been giving me like tons of money off of rides. I'm they're like, thirsty. Okay. Yeah, they're thirsty as fuck. They need you in there. They want me, dude, because I they they know I prefer Lyft. So yeah, whatever. But they, yeah, they've been like really. <laughs> dude, I wake up and they're just kind of like thirty percent off your rides all week. They keep doing it. I'm like, all right, thanks. But the uh, well, I held out on them for so long. So they're, they're starting to do that shit. You know that I was talking about earlier. They're like. How can what at what point? What's your breaking point? They're trying to find mine's apparently thirty percent. I bit because I was going to hold out. Like nah, they'll keep giving me more. Thirty percent, I bit. But uh, so yeah. So either way, so <laughs> I, I took a lift all the way to school too. I mean, I'm so proud of you right now. Why? This is great. I'm so proud. I'm of you. so fucking proud of you. Why? Like I told you, I was like, I don't even think I can talk today. Yes, you and can. And you just come in here just full of zest, talking about fucking. You're you're talking about you were haggling an app. Yeah, dude, I know. You're like, I, 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 I figured they would go lower, but I had a, I, a bit, I bit at thirty. Yeah, they're it's fucking, like, they're dude, taking you're my just data. Just looking at an app, and you're like, they're trying to fuck. With <laughs> they are, dude. They're trying to see my it's breaking nice point. That you this are is how in that Walmart, world. This is how Walmart came to prominence. They just tracked all of the transaction data, and people were like, "Oh no, we want eight dollars," and they're like, "Well, shows here that you guys will actually take four based on all of your last trend." And they're like, "God damn it! Like, fine, fuck." That's how Walmart. Uh, bottom out all those prices. All right, so this troop, this Roll Uber troop. Oh, so the Uber troop. <laughs> <laughs> the Uber troop. Roll them back. I'm like your girlfriend that comes yeah, home from yeah. work, but it's just over the span of a week. And I'm like, and then, and then, and then it did. And then I was my bummer came off, and I got to fucking stick around. And around she was and... all like, okay. And I was like, all right. So, yeah, so this guy picks me up, and I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like, dude, that school is like, I'm like, it's just fucking weird. I was talking to him about how pe- how they'll be like, I don't feel safe right now. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, they conflate fucking safety with like just being uncomfortable because, you know, they're just kind of hearing how full of shit they are. It's like, and it happens yeah. to everybody. If you have like a real tight worldview and someone's like, check out this, and you're like, because eh, like, uh, like, you're like, oh, fuck, I thought the opposite of that in terms yeah. of, you know, I mean, being able to handle ambiguity is one of the signs of mental maturity, and can't say we're all there. Sorry about that. But the, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys can't yeah, handle it. Sorry, ambiguity. you fucking gay bitch. <laughs> <laughs> sorry you don't have it. Dude, so Some people don't have it. I mean, it's just, you know, read Daredevil. He'll tell you about it. The, read uh, Daredevil. <laughs> no, Daredevil. <laughs> Go get the comic book, Daredevil. It's Daredevil. Learn. <laughs> you fucking idiots. <laughs> so, you know, he's like, and dude, this guy, he gets. You and this trooper are hitting it all. Capital T triggered. He goes, safe? And he, this guy wasn't oh, like. Oh, no. This dude wasn't. Oh, no. He, he can't, actually probably did trigger him. No, he was. And I was like, dude, I'm not trying to fight. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, dude, I, you know, I, I think about this shit all the time. And he was like, he kept saying, like, he's like, I'm not like. Was he was describing the situation mm-hmm. over there. And he goes, dude, I'm not like some brainwashed fucking like. He's like, I read. I know what's going on. I know we're over there. Like, you know, I don't agree with why we're over there. But he was like, the fact that we just pulled out like that. He goes, we fucking like that. We we started ISIS. The fact yeah. that we were like, all right, we're out of there. He's like, I mean, Hillary Clinton founded ISIS. Oh, he was he was saying the fact that Brock pulled us out because Brock everyone, founded ISIS. Well, the problem is everyone's like, yeah, bring home the troops, and he's like, yo, like I was, you know, stoked on that as well. But he's like, we devastated that place, and then the only people left there were fucking ISIS. So it, you know, yeah. I'll get to that. He, yeah, he it was told party me, time. He goes, and that's what he goes. He says they don't feel safe. Like, he was this like, dude, is how we do it. <laughs> as soon as the U.S. Just left, fucking dude. doing the jump spots. Yeah, 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 dude. ISIS was like, whoa. This is sick. This is tight. What just happened? Yeah, man. Now we're the best. Now dude, ISIS. They came. He was. T- he was like, dude. You know. He's like the first thing they do. Well, he was like, I was like. He's like, I've seen ISIS. Like I fought ISIS. And he's like, if you want to talk about being unsafe, he was like, like they they'll they'll take when they occupy a place. So they'll go into like a town. They immediately systematically kill all the elderly. You just murder the elderly right away. You get in there and you're just like, yeah, these this guys. This is are- how we do it. Uh, <laughs> dude, I mean. So they, they would mur- he was like, they would come to a town, murder the elderly right away. He's yeah. like, they're fucking not. He's like, they were like the fucking Nazis. And for some reason, like we were over there fighting fucking Nazis. People who are like almost as ba- pretty much as bad. If they if they had the capability, they would do what the Nazis did. Yeah. And for some reason, everyone's like, well, why don't you like trying to talk? He's like, it's fucking insane. 
He's like, so then we're over there, and you know, and this guy, I'm like sitting here, I was like, Jesus Christ, man, and I'm, I'm just like, yeah, dude, this fuck, these people are ridiculous. Like, the people I go to school for are just fucking ridiculous. And he just kept going on. He's like, dude, when I joined, and this is the whole point I was trying to make. He's like, when I joined up, the one thing that I was stuck on, they kept like going back to it. They're like, in the event that you're captured, are you prepared to shoot yourself in the head? And he was just like, and that's something when you're like going through all the training. Shit, there. dude, I might not even get captured, and I'm willing. <laughs> you got to like, like, hell son. yeah, man. <laughs> what? Well, he was like, he's like, I had to be honest. He's like, I don't know, dude. He's like, I really thought like, ah, you know, I'd see like the humanity in him. That like before he went over there, he was like, you know, they probably like thinking like World War II prisoner of war stuff where you're out playing baseball and shit. And they were like, no, like you under, like you like they'll just burn you alive. Like you mm-hmm. have to when you get if you're about to get captured, just ice yourself. And can you do that? And so you have these guys who have to like get ready to ice themselves, like talk themselves into icing themselves, and then they get done and they get out. And drive lift. <laughs> and they come home and they usually like, yeah. And listen you? to Maroon 5 while you're driving Uber. Yeah, dude. And he's and like, some well, chick's like, turn this up. He works in an office and then he drives lift at night. I think he's just, my man's staying busy, dude. Because he was telling me, he was like, yeah, dude, like my, he was like the, he's like everyone, he's like that whole group of people and i had someone in my school the other day being like why are we getting emails from the national guard that honestly blah 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 and it's like are you like really that's that bothers you you're that much of it's like shut the fuck up and he was like he's like dude he's like the threat and then he's like and again he's like i'm not brainwashed because i'm like a real you know anti-cia anti all that stuff he was like you're anti-cia oh big time what? i was super super he was like dude why? he was like Does the f- CIA I- fucking rocks I was I was against them. I mean, I, I still I'm still I'm still, I'm still I'm still fucking scared of the deep state, and there's still a threat. Dude. It's not the C, it's not that he was telling he explained dude, this guy broke we it down. We want CIA on our side, dude. For sure, we want the fucking for sure. Dogs. But you don't want them to break away and start their own little fucking. Thing. Not, they're chilling, man. We'll see. I don't know. That's why I was on the fence. We'll he find was, out. He goes, dude. I hear you. <laughs> he goes the three. He's like, I've worked with all the three letter agencies. He was like, this dude was like um, lying. Navy. No, no, no. This dude was fucking <laughs> so real Navy deal. Seal. He was he worked with the seals. Yeah. Tell me, this guy was a fucking man. He Navy was, SEAL Uber. His boy was a bomb diffuser. Navy SEAL Uber driver. Dude, I'm telling you. you you're going to fucking... You're there. Are you sure you truth. didn't just get lied to by an Uber driver? No, dude, I'm telling you. He was he was like... He had he had done work where, like, I guess the CIA would do reconnaissance, and he was just a guy going and kicking in doors and shit, snatching, grabbing people. Wow. So he was... Yeah, dude. So he was like... He goes, the, the stuff we do to, like, stop terror threats, he's like, they're real. Like, people are trying to fuck us up around the clock. He's like, that's not bullshit. Yeah, he's like, you know, we had to go around there and basically like snatch people out of there. He's like the one. He's like my my best friend over there died from. So one of the the, the guy in ISIS, like the head whatever dude in charge, Al Baghdadi. Al Baghdadi, uh, one of them strapped a bomb to a little girl, or this was like the guy in this town who was like his under oh, or whatever. Okay, yeah, strapped a bomb to like a young girl, and had her walk into like a uh, police station. And they were just, they just exploded, they detonated the girl and they just like blew up the police station. So he's like, the guy, my star, whatever, Lieutenant Sergeant was just like, we're killing this motherfucker. I don't care how he's oh, yeah. like, here's his house. We're going to fucking kill this guy. And his, his friend there was a bomb diffuser. He would like go and defuse bombs and shit. And they kicked in the door and it was rigged. And he's like, my friend just fucking blew to pieces. <sighs> and he's like, they're going to tell me they're not fucking safe. And I was like, dude, I hear, I hear you, bro. I fucking hear you. They're fucking annoying. Yeah, he's there like, annoying. This guy went down the whole thing of like, I fucking my family's all. He, he just went into it, and I was just like, Jesus Christ, bro, fucking love the troops, dude. I love factly fighting. The troops. I, he's like, like he's like, he's like, no, I I've seen ISIS, like I fought them. Yeah, he's like, they're wild. It, they're terrifying. He's like, they're literally. He's like, the amount they hate us. He's like, you can't even fathom it. And the mo- he's like, the other people there are cool. I hung out with all the other. people. It's like it's just fucking. It's ISIS. Everyone there I was with, they're cool. I'd play with the kids and everything. Everyone loved us. It's fucking ISIS. And he's like, dude. Yeah. The fact that like the New York Times even for a while was writing that stuff. Like, what about I? It was like, dude, I would have, I would have a fucking, if I was over there, if I was that dude and I read that in New York Times, I would fucking drive my car off a cliff. I'd be so fucking mad. <laughs> it's like, dude, why are you doing this? Yeah. You would drive I your was, car off a cliff? I'd be so, I'd be so angry. I'd probably just crash into someone on purpose. Yeah. If I was fighting ISIS, and I you was start reading mosh pitting with your car. <laughs> I start moshing. Like, I'm a fucking dude. I was so pit. fired up on the troops. I got home and I was like, God damn, dude. Yeah, I, I love, the troops, love the troops. I, I was just watching Valkyrie, dude. I love the true, troops. That, that's true. Valkyrie's the shit, dude. Having to answer the question like, "Can you ice yourself?" It's like Jesus Christ. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's easy to easy. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. I'll do it right now. <laughs> I should be like, yeah. I'll do it right fucking Please. now. Yeah. Seriously. I'm gonna ice myself today. ISIS might get you, dude. 
You better do it for ISIS catches ISIS you. ISIS better not. It burns you. I'll be fucking pissed if ISIS gets me today. <laughs> that sucks. Dude, if ISIS broke in and just carried me out of the... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be pissed if ISIS got me. Yeah, dude, are they snatched you. Oh, dude, you? those Philly, uh, Philly ISIS is getting fired up. Yeah, what was that? I don't know. A bunch of little kids talk about cutting people's heads off, dude. Was it really? I always. Actually, see, it's kind of. I'm on the lookout for propaganda. We might be on the. We might be on the list, dude. Yeah, we're close. Philly enough. ISIS. Philly ISIS might get us. I mean, I look. I'm always on the lookout for propaganda. I'm always like, I see that, and I'm like, who the fuck made this? Where is it? Yeah. Again, there could. I mean, who's videotaping in the fucking mosque? You're allowed to tape in the mosque. Can you videotape? Yeah. You can't Snapchat in the mosque. You can snap in the mosque, baby. Oh, dude. What are you, what are you fucking nuts? You can't snap you in the can mosque. You can snap in the Snapchat mosque, dude. <laughs> you can't Snapchat me in that mosque, dude. I stay Snapchatting when I'm at the mosque. Nah, dude. You can't fucking. Dude, you Snapchat at the mosque, the Prophet Muhammad. I, uh, I absolutely say you cannot Snapchat in the mosque. You know what's funny? ISIS definitely, like, they're still, like, fans of, like, Lionel Messi. Who's that? The soccer player, like what Leo is Messi. Is he an ISIS soccer player? No, he's just a fucking, they're like, they're fans of like, LeBron James is great basketball. Like, the, you know, they still are like fans of like. Yeah, they still see shit. It's funny. Well, they're on Twitter, so they're probably yeah, like. Yeah, they're on fucking Twitter, like, Kim Kardashian, great ass. Yeah, yeah I mean. Like it's, shit like that. I, dude, they just have to knock off their bullshit. I wish ISIS would chill, man. Well, it's just I think like, they pretty much chilled, dude. I Trump don't know, dog dude. fucking. You think he smacked him bomb down? Bomb the shit out of him. Yeah, man. Yeah, well, that that was the big, uh, you know. O- Obama, they were having, it was party time under Obama. Yeah. They, and then they Trump left. dog came in and was like. Why well, always, because I was like. Sorry. I was like, I don't know. You hear all that stuff debating. It's like Obama created ISIS. That's kind of convenient. Oh, yeah. And then you talk to this guy. He's like, well, he didn't, he didn't make it, but he's like, he pulled all the people out. And the people were, all the generals were like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Yeah. This is going to, this is going to collapse. In a, he's like, it literally collapsed like a couple weeks after. Damn, dude. Damn. Holy shit. I mean, this is you. This is great work right now. What this me? Is, this might be your finest work. Nah, this is nothing. Just dude. no help. This is just this a is one nothing, man. You just handed you the rock and said, "Run, dude. Let's go for we're, it." We're, we're putting the team on your back today. She- wow. Oh, dude, this is actually what I was thinking about yes. in Chicago. Yeah, <laughs> maybe something else. I have like fifty. Of them. Yeah, man. I was also before you came over. I was like, I don't have one thing to say to him. Really? I was like, I haven't learned anything. I haven't thought about anything. Damn, dude. I couldn't think of one thing. I was That's like, how I, I feel think... about having to do stand-up. I'm like, I haven't thought of one stand-up thing. I don't think anything's funny. In a year. Nothing's funny right now. No. The only thing funny to me is Ain't you funny. naked sliding your ass up a fucking <laughs> wall of a shower with your legs straight above you. Straight. I keep waiting to get caught, dude. For some reason, it just that. seems like something that like an Asian man would do. Like just a naked I'm Asian very, man. I'm very Eastern. Very Eastern yeah, style. I'm very Eastern. Wash. Washing. No, that's, I mean, I'm definitely very Eastern. Dude, so I'm in the uh, I'm in the Walmart in Chicago, and cause I was noticing I've again I've been, I've been reading a lot of young, doing a lot of self hypnosis. What you got a cough now? Too now you're cigarettes, sick. The cigarettes in my throat, Jesus, dude. dude. <laughs> this is crazy. This is... You just lived like a Dave, like a NASCAR pit driver. I don't know. You're what not it... feeling very good. I don't know why. I That's thought some it... people's like every day. I can't even imagine. Yeah, man. I dude. This is one that's going to take... This will take me out of commission for a week. You think so? Yeah. You hang up the jersey? I'm going to stop partying. Really? Till Friday. <laughs> you think you're going to have party until the weekend? Helium? Oh, uh, you're going to party hard? Friday and Saturday? I heard that. Party time. Dude, so I'm in the parking lot. I've been, I've been trying to figure out the collective unconscious, which I know you're oh, against. I know. I've been you're trying to figure this. it out. You're against the collective unconscious. What I are you talking talked about? talked about it once, and you're just Let like, me hear it. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I, dude, the unconscious is real. I can literally... I could, I could lay it out. Super easy for you, but the yeah. collective unconscious, that's one I've been like, eh, is that, dude. Like a hive mentality type thing? Sort of. Is that of. what you mean? Yeah, kind of, but like how, so like when I, so again, when I'm in, I'm in Chicago, I'm on the south side, the only white person, I'm in Walmart, and it feel, I feel weird, I can feel other people feeling weird, and people just kind of like, look, it's just a weird fucking vibe. Yeah. That to me is the perfect example of it, where there's just some un, like for some reason, we're just kind of like, eh. Sure. Everyone's weird. So there is almost a, there is a collective consciousness. Yeah, so I'm yeah, like, oh yeah, well, yeah, sweet, yeah. prove that. Oh, I, was nice. in, I was in the sugar aisle of Walmart, and I was like, oh sweet, I proved the collective unconscious. Sick. I don't know if that's proving the collective unconscious. How not? If everyone's just uncomfortable. If but if the uncomfort's coming from an unconscious place, I don't think it is. It's they're they're seeing a white guy. Yeah, but oh, you mean like why? Why is, that why is it yeah. uncomfortable I get, to see I get someone the different? Visual, I get the visual cue. Like to see someone different and yeah. be like, you're uncomfortable. Yeah. I think that's just human instinct. 
But it doesn't happen everywhere. So I guess that's, I mean, an unconscious thought is instinct. No. Or an unconscious, like, feeling is purely instinct. What are you talking about? Unconscious is instinct? Everything's instinct, baby. I mean, this is a classic Freudian young. This is where Freudian young parted ways. Yeah, I'm more, yeah, young I'm more slam dunked all on. about mom he saw, sniz, He dude. saw fucking Freud and just went, slam dunked on him. No. Freud was dying to be like, everything sex, we're animals, blah, 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 blah. And Young came and fucking slam dunked on him. Was like Young was, deeper than that. Nah, Young's a bitch. Yo, whoa, whoa, Yo, dude. Fuck Young. Yo, dude. Fuck Freud. Fuck everybody. You hate. You are SJW. Do you Only hate Freud thing and Young? I love is Notre Dame football. You love fucking Freud, dude. Freud's a bitch. No, he wasn't. Freud was gay. How was he gay? He's a fucking pussy, dude. Why? He just sat around. And was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> me <laughs> That's just me <laughs> He wrote like 30 books yeah. He's a fucking bitch dude Nah dude I'm telling you I, That was what I And again I'm, I'm not fully sold on this But I'm like We're all sitting here We all kind of don't have any real If you were to ask us Like what's going on I'd be like They're all black and I'm white And it's like Well what's the problem I'm Like I don't know I just feel weird It's like yeah. Why Okay all You right. know what I'm saying Yeah It's like why do we feel weird What's the problem here Yeah Why can't a honky just wander fuck, while Wander the aisles of black Walmart in peace and it, it was like maybe it's all me. Bad things that happened. Yeah, that I mean, your people did. But it, Matt, that's the thing. It, it wasn't that your people did. We already fucking. We already put this to rest, dude. Did we? Didn't have them. You man. don't get to. You had them. I didn't though. You had them. How? I had them. You had them. Me personally. Your people. No, no, no. The McCusker clan had them. No, we didn't. I checked the docket. We might have had some Britons. We I checked had, the ex- no, Excel sheet. No, we probably probably enslaved some Anglo Saxons. Checked, checked the Excel sheet. Had them. No, dude. Wrong. Had, you're also part North African. Had them. It's true. Yeah. True. I you might come have had from them. a Fuck. long line of dealers. I had them. Had them way back when. Yeah, man. I might have had some fucking. You're crossing the Sahara, coming I down. I might have had some of the, the or, earlier's. Yeah. You might have had some of the earlier Israelites, dude. Yeah, I might have had some you of those might have had the OGJs, dude. I might have fucking had them back then, dude. My Egyptian roots. Your thick Egyptian roots. Fuck. Shout dude. out Mina. What up, bro? Yo, I might have fucking. Shout had, out Mina. I might have had like Abraham. You probably had him. David. I might have had David for a minute. You didn't have shit, dude. You don't think I had David? No, nah, you didn't have anything. Your yeah. ancestors were out chilling with Yeenies, dude. <laughs> Doing nothing. <laughs> You didn't have anything. You, you people were never powerful enough to have them, dude. I know it sucks. I come from a long line of Adams. You think you had them? I fucking. When did, you, hope. when did your family come here? I don't know. I don't know. You one, hope one you or had, two, you gener- hope you two had generations. Them? You hope you had them. I would. I would expect nothing but elite genealogy from <laughs> myself. <laughs> you think you had the best? Without a doubt, you guys I come always from a had long the best? line of dudes that were just like, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Make yeah, them right, do dude. it. No way. Come from a long line of it. Nah, no way. I come from a long line. Shirt of sleeves, fat shirts. fucking pussies. No way, dude. Just laid around, dude, and wanted to Shout right. cry. I what was Grandpa? Cry. What was Grandpa Gillis like? Uh, he got CTE playing for Notre Dame, and then he fought everyone until he died. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, "Oh man, he's got a short temper." It's like, no, he fractured his skull. Yeah, he has a neurological <laughs> condition. Yeah, he's just, yeah, that's how he died. He uh, he freaked out on the operating table. Oh my god, Did had he a really? heart attack when he came out of uh, anesthesia. He tried to fight the doctors. He really? came out of anesthesia and tried to fight people, and his heart exploded. What are you, a fucking pansy? Yeah, he's like, get your fucking hands off me, faggot. Well, that's like, when you come out of anesthesia, they say, like, either you, like, you kind of, some people laugh, some people cry. So you come out of it laughing, some people come out crying. He probably just was like, the third option was like, you're fucking gay. And he started, <laughs> fight like, to the death. He was kicking in his little gurney. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, uh, Mr. Gillis, Mr. Gillis, please, Francis, Francis, and he's like, oh, <laughs> damn, dude. Yeah, and That's... then yeah, Jack, Jack Kilkenny went. Uh, I forget how he fucking died. I was in there with him when he died, though. Really? Yeah, I was like young. You saw your grandpappy I was, die? Yeah, I saw, I saw, Pappy Jack Kilkenny go down swinging. Really? Yeah, man. What was his fucking story? like tube getting shoved down his throat? And they're like, get Shane out of the room. And I was like, oh. sorry, bye, Grandpa. Yeah, it was like peace. Damn, I'll keep the fucking train rolling though. I never, I never seen a. Yeah, I know a bunch of people who've seen like they're being in the room and they're like their grandparents dying shit. It's like my two on my dad's side checked out relatively early to me. Dude, my mom's dad was just like full dementia for a while. He rode that out pretty hard. Yeah, that's what. That it, seems to be what I'm yeah. cruising towards. I think so. I'm cruising towards more of like a dementia bruising. I'm going to die. 
I'm going to die 80 with keeps absolutely being... no concept of who I am or what's going on. <laughs> That's definitely what's going yeah. on. Sounds like it. I'm going to be like a season three True Detective, except yeah. none of it's going to make sense. Yeah. It's going to be me just like... If there was no crime, you're just going to be walking around. I'm just going to keep I forgetting that I ate mushrooms and just keep eating more and be like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'll, if, it's, if it remains party time for a while, it's going to be... Hard tech. Just a nice hotel room. You think? Yeah. Party time. Little maybe. fucking, uh, whatchamacallit? Who's that dude? Orlando Bloom? Yeah, Orlando Bloom. Fucking. Dead. That's a. Orlando drug Bloom is dead drug in drug a hotel room. room. Is a fucking. Brutal. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kind gonna of, do that. Yeah. yeah. Kind of dumb. No. That'd be dumb. This is fun. It'd be like, I'm taking six pills. Oh, oh no. Oh, one too many. <laughs> <laughs> Damn this problem. <laughs> Like, get a fucking hold of yourself, Bloom. <laughs> Stop it with the fucking nonsense. <laughs> yeah, Orlando Bloom, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I heard he was a pedophile. <laughs> I can't believe Orlando Bloom is taking drugs and is a pedophile. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I can't believe he worshipped the devil, dude. It was an obvious pedophile and took drugs and died. You know, Orlando Bloom's not dead, right? What? He's not? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy who died? <laughs> Who's the joke? I think you're going for Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. <laughs> <laughs> Orlando Bloom's funny, too. I thought, Orlando Orlando was Bloom, funny. I thought he died. No. Oh, he, I think he died. slapped Bieber. What? Or Bieber slapped him. Orlando Bloom and Bieber had a fucking beef, dude. What? Yeah. Shit. Over dude. sniz, dude. Over some sniz. Of course. What else do you fight over? True. That's the only fight over. That's it. It's my sniz. It's my sniz. Dude, I got a brief insight into the sniz world. It was actually. Sniz world is just. It's I chaos. Can't, dude. I can't even fucking. Dude, I, I was driving. Near it. When I drove my car over for. Uh, <laughs> For Fennell to fix it, it was, dude's obviously doing me a fucking favor. So I, I call, first I called him, I was like, yo, can I leave my car and you're like, where you work at your auto body place? Cause I got my, dude, my radiator was exposed. I'm like, someone's gonna come fucking take my radiator off my car. Your radiator. My radiator, bro. I didn't want someone to fucking take it. So I'm like, dude, cause it, that thing was out in the open. There was like fucking. Who sick. told you to call it a radiator? Me. That's a, what do you call it? A radiator? <laughs> yeah. It's a radiator, dude. All right. So I'm like, dude, my rad's exposed. Someone's gonna come. Yeah, your rad out. Someone's gonna snag up my rad hanging out. Things fucking brand fucking you got a new. Penis I rad. Just hanging gotta put, out, I got dude. my rad's fucking big. You got thick rad. Thick rad. So I got a big brand new radiator just put on. A little long, you know, like a year ago. This thing's fucking sparkling. It's yeah. my radiator. I don't want to brag about my car. My radiator's fucking. You got nice, one dude. thing going for you. You got a brand nice. new. And my condenser right next to it. Whew. Yo, brand new. I knew you like had a, a sick condenser. It's like a pearl in the oyster, dude. It's perfect. I knew you had a good brand. Condenser. I don't like. I don't brag about my possessions, but I got a really nice brand new condenser. So like, they're sit, they're open. I'm like, someone's gonna steal these. Someone's gonna obviously look at these and be like, whew, pop these things out. So I'm like, he. So he was like, yeah, man, my boss. <laughs> My boss won't let you like leave it here. And I remember I was like telling Britt, and she was like, "Why?" And I was like, "Speak of the fucking devil, why?" And I'm like, "It's not a question I get to ask people. I can't yeah. just be like, why not?" It's like, it's like the dude said no. So I'm like, oh, he was like, oh, I was like, all right, I'll take it to your house. And then like we're driving, Britt's like, "Why don't you just have him come meet you here?" I'm like, because he's doing me a fucking favor. Yeah. Like it's like because I'm not going to suck his dick. Like he's not going to just come here. I, it's like the most. The most like skewed thing of being like, well, just have him drive here. It's like, no. It's not like when someone's doing you a favor, you're not like, oh, by the way, I also don't want to be inconvenienced by driving towards you and <laughs> yeah, losing yeah, my yeah. parking spot. Could you think you just come to my house? That was crazy for me. I was just like, where in your head? I was trying to, I was asking him, like, where do you, what, do you feel like you're able to be like, why not? She like, just, I mean, it's just, hey, you can come here. And it's like, must be fucking nice, dude. I was telling her, I'm like, as a dude, if I go about this <laughs> the wrong way, it's fine. If I go about I, this yeah, the wrong way, he will just be like, oh, hey, I'm real busy tonight. Sorry. Boom. And I'm like, then it's all fucked up. Yeah. It's like, you got to fucking drive that radiator over to him. Exactly. So, did you say that to him? Were you like, hey, what do you think of that? Or did he My radiator? Did he say, well, what's that, condenser? Oh, he what saw it. He, he I saw could tell. Well, he had the light on. He, I didn't want him looking at it either. He thought I, mean, he I love Fennell, but he knows, he his, he knows his car parts. He knows his car parts. He greedy little paws on He knows that. his car parts, dude. He could have fucking popped that condenser off he while I wasn't looking. No, Slipped it in his pocket. Cur parts. <laughs> Fennell knows cur parts. He knows cur parts, dude. Um, now, what are we at time-wise An here? hour. Just really? All right. Four minutes, yeah. Um... What you doing tomorrow? You're fine. You're fine right now. You want to keep going or not? That's nah, all good. You're, you're killing we this. We can wrap it and hit, we'll hit a page tomorrow. Let you, let you recoup. 
Hit yeah, a page. Let's hit a page in the morning. Yeah, right, right, right early. Wow. Hopefully things turn around for me. They'll turn around. I think tomorrow I'll be a lot better. Go back down to the catacombs, dude. If I, I need recoup. to lay on that couch and try yeah, not recoup. to cry. Or cry. I should cry, dude. Just cry. Dude, I'm going to give you my... Fuck. I don't have you log into my Audible. You need to do you need to do this self hypnosis and just work on your Jungian shadow archetypes, dude. Young Young's a bitch. You need to confront Fuck your shadow, shadows. Shane. You need to put your fucking hypnosis on. Fuck and shadows. Your shadow. Yeah, yeah. It's your shadow talking, dude. My shadow's a fucking bitch that I control, dude. Do you think so, dude? I'm just one on one with shadow me. talking, dude. Huh? I'm fighting me, dude. Not yeah, my shadow. Yeah, that's what you think. Me versus me, but uh, May 10th and 11th. This Friday, you're and like Saturday. sweat versus suit. Yeah, pretty much. Nelly's double album. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> no, I'm more Nellyville. Or T.I. versus Tip. True. I'm yeah, Nellyville, dude. dude. You think I'm you're pure straight, Nellyville? Yeah. That's Fuck of Nelly, all dude. the albums that represent Fuck me. Fuck Nelly, dude. I had to go to my... I went to my uh, girlfriend's childhood room today and saw a picture that said, Brittany, Brittany and Nelly forever. She used oh, to love Nelly. Dude. I was about to shit. fucking snatch that off the wall and tear it up. Nelly might come fucking... Classic. <laughs> Yeah, he, Nelly's hot too. Yeah, that's a, that's a fucking, that's a hot he's guy. He's jacked, he's jacked as fuck. Nelly's yeah. wild though. Always wearing some form of athletic shit. gear. Yeah, looks good. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. What are you gonna do? Compete with that? He dresses like John Cena. He does dress they pretty very similar. Sick. John John <laughs> Cena do. and him have like a headband and like an eye black <laughs> and like a baseball jersey and jorts. Yeah, he look, he's fucking hot. Nelly then. John Cena dresses like Nelly in <laughs> 2000. <I know. laughs> he's like, he's waiting on the ride for that fucking EI video. He's like, Nelly should be here any minute. <laughs> All right. Let's go. This dude. Friday and Saturday. Oh, my God. Matt McCusker is doing stand up, everybody. Friday and Saturday at Helium Comedy Club in Philadelphia. We got the Beezer. Ooh. We got Chris O'Connor. O'Connor might not be alive. Oh. O'Connor is definitely feeling exactly the same way I am. Check on him. Think he peed the bed? He probably beat the bet. He had to go back and face his bay, uh, a sober bay coming home from work, and he was tanked. Jesus. I was like, "Damn, dude, I would not want to do that." Yeah. Also, I met his dog. He brought his dog Teddy. Yeah, fucking gay ass dog. Was it really? Teddy sucks. Hopefully, O'Connor can discipline that dog. He's yeah, like a, is he like a drunk, dog, dude, is he like weird. a drunk stepdad on that on that he dog? He is, man. It's just a little shitty tiny dog. That, O'Con- uh, and O'Connor comes drunk and is like, "Sit down, yeah, and sit." Gave it this. You're haircut. gonna listen to me. We were making fun of it. It looks like the dog looks like Longshank's son in in Braveheart. That's what it looks like. It looks like this gay bitch. Like he has the same haircut as like a like medieval British. Really, it's like straight it's weird like hair. A fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like dude, this dog sucks. It's kind of uh, underbite. Hopefully, O'Connor can fucking toughen him up. Well, O'Connor keeps like bullying this dog, which is such a great fucking. Like little tiny O'Connor coming home and seeing a little tiny dog and like holding it down and be like, "You listen to me." <laughs> <laughs> no, I said no. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so that was fun. That's yeah, pretty tight. I, it was fun knowing that O'Connor was going to go get in a fight. Oh, definitely. Like for no, like she, that was your happy thought. Going I was to just bed? sitting there across from him, and I, he was like, "I got to, I got to go home," and I was like, "Oh, sucks." Yikes. Guaranteed fight. Yeah, man. It's a guaranteed fight. If you had fun and yeah. then you face your bay, dude, if bay knows you were having fun. Oh, my God. It's oh, over. Oh, you're happy? It's fucking over. You're drunk. You're being drunk. Like, it's just like. Uh, oh, my God. How much do you dr- And if they come home oh, drunk, yeah. dude, they're like, I'm even drunk. It's yeah. like your eyes are crossed. <laughs> you drunk bitch. You fucking <laughs> Wench. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we could make fun of my bio that Helium put up. Oh yeah, that was some fucking. That's bullshit, a pretty dude. funny thing. That was a motherfucking bullshit. Nah, fuck it. We should get out of here. All right. uh, May tenth and eleventh. Please come. Please come. Come. Come, dude. I'll be there, dude. I'll be thank there. You, bombing man. for three minutes. I'm like, oh, thanks a lot, dude. Man. Thank you so much for today. Oh, dude, please, man. This was. It is what it is. This was special. You put on a fucking it is what it clinic is, dude. today. I mean, dude, I've been washing your ass. But your bumper fell off. Taking lines, main dude. ISIS. You're talking to troops and Ubers. I'm a busy, you talk to a fucking. You met a Navy SEAL that now yeah. drives Uber and lies to people. He's not a fucking dude. He's not a liar. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till I'm gonna get him, dude. What are you gonna do? I'll get. I'll, I'll run into him again. What was his name? I'm not gonna say. His, I'm not gonna tell the troops' name on the air. <laughs> we text. Was it Chris Kyle? Nah, Known dude. liar. <laughs> Chris Kyle. Was he a liar? <laughs> yeah, Chris Kyle was a liar. Really. I mean, he also killed a bunch of people and losses. He was a little wild. 
Damn, dude. R.I.P. Orlando Bloom. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did. And Orlando Bloom. Yeah, Chris Kyle said he was shooting people like at Hurricane Katrina. Well, probably Mark Wahlberg probably left the side and he just went fucking wild. Mark Wahlberg has. Didn't Wahlberg to do. like befriend Kyle? Oh, no, that was. Uh, Marcus Luttrell. Yeah, Bradley Cooper. Operation Red Wing. Ad- Bradley Cooper played. Bradley uh, Cooper was Chris Kyle. But yeah. that was. That's the thing. If you got to come back from fighting at war, you got to link up with an A list actor as soon as possible and yeah. have them kind of like. Yeah, you got to link spokesman. up with someone that went to like Juilliard. Yeah. And he went to a performing arts school. <laughs> yeah. And then now is jacked. Exactly. And he's like, I'm pretty tough too. I'm basically a fucking Navy SEAL. I, I mean, these guys, being around these guys is incredible. <laughs> I mean, when you're hanging out with these guys, you realize like, we take a lot for granted. Oh, dude, for sure. And it's fucking. I got Wahlberg in the Uber. Bradley I Cooper wearing something. like a fucking military hat <laughs> with like a fucking logo. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Knock it off! Like You're the, stealing then, Valley. And then a uh, fucking week later, does a what was that musical? He yeah, just it was did? a country music. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> oh man, what a fucking day, dude! Yeah, man, go rest up. Hit the catacombs. Sucks dude. being sad. Being sad is gay. Oh, it fucking sucks. Man, pointless. True. Absolutely pointless. All right. You just, I'm telling you, hit the vape pen, dude. Hit the vape. <sighs> face your fucking demons, and you got to listen. You got to do this. You guys should hit the vape. That's a cure for a hangover, dude. Confront your fucking demons, dude. I think I just need to sleep. Fine. Go. Yeah, that actually probably would be the best. Definitely thing. sleep. Confront your demons, too. I don't want to get high and confront my demons. All dude. right, they take a nap. <laughs> I think I'm fighting the demons. All right, take a nap. I don't need to add to the demons. The True. demons are fully fighting me. Mm. Last night, I was going to, I mean, I was laying in old Danny Jackson's yep. guest room, just up there in the high rise overlooking Philadelphia. Demons. Yeah, man. Fully. Oh, that's just your subconscious. Thinking about past loves. It's your subconscious bringing lives, stuff to attention, dude. What I could dude. have done different. Oh no, dude. Oh man, am I thirty-one hanging out at Danny's house? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Am I, I a back. fat loser hanging out at somebody's house? That's sick. If that was your subconscious, it's like, are you a fat loser? Yeah, that like, is wait, my subconscious. What was that? Why do I feel fat all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> I need to lay down. And do the fucking. I can't face my demon. My demon's like everything you've done is a failure. You gotta you face that gay bitch. You gotta face him. What am I gonna say to him? You're playing fucking ego games, dude. It's like all you gotta do is, you know, you're just an organism. Get into organism mode. Get in the couch all day and just pretend you're a cell and just lay on the couch and be like, yeah. <laughs> I do that all the time, dude. It's like, yes. If I start freaking out, I instantly <laughs> check in as myself as an organism. I go, wait, I'm warm, well fed. All right, I'm good. And I just go about it, squashes everything. I go into organism mode, dude. I get real into this being a biological organism, and I'm just kind of like, oh, wait, I'm totally fucking chill. I'm chilling so hard. The fact that I'm even freaking out right now is weird in and of itself. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm the best. And I just lay there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch myself freaking. I'll start bugging out, and I'm just like, yeah, wait a I second. Mean, I'm like, what do I even have to bug out about? And I'm like, I'm thinking weird things. I'm yeah. like, I'm a No, I bug out anyway, but this is, you know, the fucking oh, massive up. anxiety. Yeah, you're ramped up on like, alcohol. I mean, alcohol. Yeah. Just blame it on the alcohol, dude. I did blame it on the a- 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 yeah. <laughs> right, alcohol. Blame my it la- on the alcohol. My laptop's a- about to die. Yeah. yeah, dude, you can't blame it on that. <laughs> fucking taking meth and drinking all day. Woo! <laughs> Feel good right now. <laughs> all right. Bad. Oh, we shouldn't be on the air. We gotta get off. Well, how can we not talk about fame? Dude, my battery's on the die. Right, right. 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 right.